it's that time again. Driving two and a half hours or more to God knows where. But all I know is we are going to find the very edge of Texas. The idea of this trip came upon us so fast that we just jumped on it and did it, not realizing that we need to charge our camera batteries. So that's priority number one for tomorrow. I think what I like about the beach, especially the Gulf Coast where we're going and right after spring break, there's not gonna be that many people. Not that I don't like people. People. Well, it's as motel as motel can be. Yep, it's got a bed, that's all I care about. Looks like Freeport's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. We're going to the beach, we're going to the beach, we're going to the beach right now. We'll be there in two hours. You have a good day. Is that it? All right, we're awake, barely. But we did it. I'm glad we pulled over and got some sleep. We got all our batteries and everything charged up and we are ready to roll. Two hours. <sighs> Hungry. Thank you, Al. Thank you. Let's go to the beach. The guy came over and cleaned off my battery terminals and put his charging kit up to it and it started right up. But what we do have to do is, he's gonna get in his car and he's going to let us follow him to the interstate, interstate place, whatever it is, whatever it's called. And they're gonna run some tests on my system and find out what's going on. A Little bit of a scary situation and I'm gonna get off the phone since I'm driving. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> and so we're going through a bit of a sticky situation right now. The car died on us out here in Victoria, Texas. Two hours from home, one hour from the beach. The owner of my Tula's Collision Center was kind enough to get a start on my battery, so we're up and running, and we're gonna follow him to the interstate place, get my system checked. We're gonna make it to the beach today. Yeah, so the last time we went through something like this, we were actually going to my brother's wedding in New Mexico, and we got a flat tire in my car. So we had to find a place to change the tire, and they did. Yeah, he didn't charge us, so we gave him $10 and made it to the wedding an hour and a half early. Interstate batteries. Cool thing is that the battery that I have in this truck is an interstate battery, so I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky on the price of this fix. All right, so it looks like our battery was, in fact, bad. They're gonna swap that out for us. We can almost stop freaking out because it doesn't look like it was as bad as we thought. Thank you, thank you. We didn't really want to be sitting in the truck right now, but we are. It turns out that it's not the battery, it is the alternator. So now we're stranded in Victoria, Texas, waiting for an alternator to get delivered to all auto and truck repair. They are kind enough to know that we're in a situation and they're gonna to try to squeeze us in today, assuming that we get the part by three o'clock. Now we gotta figure out what to do for a couple hours here in Victoria. Looks like we're going to the mall. Melody's not very happy with losing the car last month and now our truck is starting to slowly break down and fall into pieces. Things are getting a little bit tricky for us, but I think we're going to turn it into an adventure regardless. We are going to make it to the coast tonight. I didn't pile all this junk into the back of my truck so we could drive all the way to Victoria just to get a car repair. I don't know if I'm ready for the intensity of the Victoria, Texas mall, but I do think that it would be kind of cool to sit down in the shade area right here. Hey, at least we're outside. That's the kind of positivity that we thrive on in these situations. It's not like it's taking the beach away from our whole future. We're just getting there a little bit late, having to spend a little bit more, a lot more, a whole lot more money than we thought we were. This is the worst beach I've ever been to. I just can't get over the year that we're having right now. I swear I can't take any more. One more thing and I'm gonna walk out to oncoming traffic. <laughs> We've just had like one problem after another, and I don't mean to sit here and be a whiny butt, no, but- No, but it's been major problems. 2018 has just basically taken everything that we have 
and turned it into sort of a question. Is it gonna break? Is it gonna fall apart? We've been upside down. I mean, we're losing stuff left and right, but I guess that's the price you pay when you keep things for a long, long time. Eventually, it's gonna stop working if it has moving parts. So you gotta that be prepared for that. Or get crashed into. Or get crashed into, yeah. Losing the Toyota Avalon was a big hit for us because now we have to share one vehicle, and now our one vehicle is falling apart. Pretty pissed off. We yeah. want to take our anger out on something. Not at the Victoria Mall, though. They don't deserve the wrath of our anger. We want to take our anger out on filming a beautiful sunset, capturing a beautiful sunrise. Digging our toes into the sand, splashing in the water, listening to the birds, looking for the ones that only have one leg. We have to try to stay positive through this. I have to believe that that part's going to arrive by 3 o'clock today. If it does, we get it into those people at the shop, and they will get us in and out in 45 minutes, they said. See, the cool part about this trip is we went through a pretty bad hurricane. Hurricane so Harvey. Driving through there is probably going to be almost like driving through Louisiana after Katrina. Cool thing about that is as many people have lost their homes and lives, that's, that's awful. But one way to look at it is 10, 15 years from now, it's going to have a whole new ecosystem. Because the earth kind of just took over and said, I need a cleansing. And it just kind of cleansed itself at the expense of humanity. But... It'll come back around. It always does. We're resilient people. Yep. Our life will come back around. Yeah, I believe it will. I do. I believe it will, 100%. Um, I need that to happen tomorrow. <laughs> We're not going to sit under this bridge all day. We're going to go ahead and head on into the mall. McDonald's really screwed us up this morning, so... <laughs> not our stomachs. Our order. They screwed up our order. Folks, we're talking about a sausage biscuit. That's what they messed up. Not exactly what we're hungry for. Oh, there's a Denny's. It's funny, there's some people on Facebook that are being positive as well. Just telling us to keep it, keep thinking of it as an adventure. It's never boring on a State Parker's trip. That's true. Well, we walk over to Denny's, hungry, because we sat there and smelled the bread from Subway. They're closed from 1.30 to 5 p.m. for maintenance. Wonderful! All is not lost. We do not have to go to Taco Bell or Denny's. We found a Buffalo Wild Wings. Can't turn down a lunch at the old B-Dub Dub. Guess we're gonna go with the fast break lunch and a couple Guinness drafts. Yeah, we deserve it. I think we really deserve it. Kind of what we needed. It's not gonna fix the problem. <laughs> no. Shouldn't create any more though. Might have to pee. It's just one thing after another. <laughs> it's getting closer to three o'clock. We need something good to happen. We can't thank Sean here enough at Advanced Auto Parts in Victoria, Texas. He saved the day. Oh God. Saved the entire trip. Hopefully. <laughs> and we got a cool new toy. Well, not a toy, but now I won't get that black crap all over my hands when it rains. Are they taking it right now? They took it. He took the right keys. Right now? Yeah, he took it. He took one out there. I think they're going to pull it in and oh, get us in and out of here. Man, I hope so. Yeah. I can't wait. The Parker Mobile. Over there getting some much needed TLC. These guys have been great. They know what kind of situation we're in. Victoria, Texas. If you break down, you're in good hands out here. These guys are nice. Back in the car for good reasons. This time we're gonna drive it. It took some doing, but we got that thing on the. Hey, that actually matches my interior. I've never been so excited to have a truck <laughs> with 232,000 miles on it. <laughs> and a new battery, and a new alternator, and a new. Drive shaft. And a new. Clutch cable. And a new. Radiator. And a new. Attitude. Yeah. ahead of us is not water. It looks like all those trees are underwater, but it's really just a mirage. We made it to Goose Island State Park, and we're going to go inside, get checked in, get our tent camping site with electricity. We're going to get on with this adventure. Woo! 
I am so happy to hear that. I'm so happy there's somebody here. That means we don't have to wake up early in the morning to come in. Here we can wake up early in the morning and watch a sunrise. Glorious. Great victory on our part. Great victory on everyone involved. We're sorry we had to drag you all through that madness. Yeah, we're here. Wait, wait, wait. You hear that? Sounds like the ocean to me. We have a picnic table, a grill back there. Always nice when they give you a lantern hook, but we use it for a trash. I just realized these are brand new. Nice, yeah, they had to, oh, I would imagine they had to replace those pretty quick. Yeah. Oh my God, mosquitoes are ferocious. Ready? Yes. Woo! All right. Camp is set. It's time to go see the beach. There you go. There's some serious evidence of the Hurricane Harvey that came through here and just blasted this area. You can see where the shingles on the pavilions have been just ripped away. Man. You see that? Yeah, see the mosquitoes? They are loving it. Oh my gosh. They're gonna pick up my truck and fly off with it. We're gonna become vampires. As much as we want to go to the beach and get in the actual sand and stuff, as it turns out, the west side of this place is closed off, the east side is open, but it's like kind of rocked off with a barrier. It's not really beach beach, and we're sort of in an inlet. We need to relax. We've had a stressful day. So what we're thinking is we're gonna go hang out, chill out, probably have an early night because we've been kind of stressed out today. Get up as early as we can tomorrow and really go dig our toes in the sand. Holy monkey, we hit the gold mine. That's nice. We're set. It's gonna be great for tomorrow night's bonfire. Sweet! <laughs> we hit the mother load. Let's get back to camp. Do you remember when we first showed that on video? It was at Barefoot Campground and it was really bright and silver. Yeah. And now it's toasted and used and brown. Just like our beloved teapot here. It's destroyed, but we love it. It still works. Right now I'm clearing out debris. So when I jump out of this hammock, I don't kill myself. <laughs> She did a fantastic job setting her hammock up. I think I'm gonna try, uh, at least try. Sort of hook up at this spot here. Try to connect with that branch right there. It hasn't even been a full hour yet and it's time to apply another coating of bug spray. Main reason for the tarp is so we can jump down and put our feet on that without getting them into the nasty stuff when we have to get up and go pee in the middle of the night. Just trying to be smarter, not work harder. This has been pretty hard work all day long. Yeah. But once again, I want to thank Texas Hikeaholics for sending us this. We entered a little subscriber giveaway thing and won this and it came with a bunch of goodies. You guys have been great. We like your channel. We love the trips you take and thank you for supporting us all this way. Well, I know we were talking about getting a sunset today and behind us back there, that kind of that's gonna have to do. We're too tired to get back out in the car. We're gonna go ahead and light this fire. What you got there? Fatwood. Fatwood. Trusty old fatwood. Yeah. It's one of the best smells in the world once you get it smoking and you can cook over it too. That's the cool thing about it. Mm, all natural. But this is not a commercial for fatwood. Nope. What this is is a commercial for Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> <laughs>
Good morning everyone. It was a beautiful sunrise here at Goose Island State Park, but I don't think we're gonna stay here. We're gonna go pack up our camp. And we're gonna take you to the sandy part of the beach, like the real beach. Let's hope. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's gonna do it for Goose Island, at least for today anyway. We got a cool sunrise this morning. Now we're gonna go try to find a more primitive area of the beach to camp on, but spring break's been going on, so it might be some crowds, might not, we don't know. We also have to stop by Walmart and pick up some memory because running low and I forgot to bring one of my cards. Dang it! This landmark behind us here is Whataburger, and that's where we're gonna sit and eat some food, charge up the camera, charge up our phones, plan out the rest of our day. We get to check out this massive rig here. Can't tell if it's in use or not. It looks damaged, honestly. A lot of what we've driven past has been damaged. I bet those came out of the water. I bet you're right. All right, well, Melody just discovered something that solves this entire question. Yeah, I saw movement and was like, wait a minute, that's the ferry. In a quarter mile, slight left onto West Cotter Avenue. That's pretty cool, we got right up in the front. We get to look around in the driver's seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very smooth, glidey sort of floating feeling when you're just sitting in the car but you don't feel the engine but you're moving. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. Well, it doesn't look like spring break's gonna be an issue for us. Okay, now we're excited. We found our camp spot and it's a good one. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it's a good one. Couple little mini dunes right here. Another one right there. Bathrooms aren't too far away, that's kind of cool. And there's nobody anywhere near us for at least a half a mile. I like it. I'm excited about what I'm going to find out here. <laughs> it's kind of funny, you can't take her to the beach without her immediately going shell hunting. I love it. <laughs> Melody's out there playing in the water. It's really freaking cold. We tried to run in and we had to turn around and run right back out. We feel like we have the best camp spot for tent campers there is. This is perfect, man. It's just like back off of the main thoroughfare here. Wow! In the old fire pit dug up. Yep. It's kind of nice. There was two big old rocks in there that kind of helped you out. Well, that's what gave Clint the idea, and that's what gave me the idea. A trip to Port A isn't complete without one thing. A long walk on the beach. That's right. Is that a muscle? I do believe so. He's inside there. Look at that. So we'll just put him right back where we found him. Okay. That's what you're supposed to do in these natural areas. We're not hiding in a natural area, we're in the beach. Oh yeah, this is all man-made, I forgot. still alive too. That's hard. I don't know what it is that we found, but it seems like it might be a puffer fish. We're gonna dig this thing up. It's like stuck in the sand. Yep, a puffer fish. 
Oh, I guess the birds will eat it now, maybe. Maybe. Or does he have toxins that they can't eat or something? Oh, that's right. Blowfish po are... Uh... Poisonous. Yeah. Well, this isn't nearly as exciting, but hey, we found some garbage that we can easily transport to the trash dumpster. That's right, on our way. Gotta do our part. Keep America clean, you know? Seems like that would be something you'd rent out here. That would be fun. <laughs> That was the spirit of the puffer fish. The bubbly floop. Bubbly floop. Well, considering that the post hurricane damage has caused a lot of the elements of these beaches to get closed off, this place looks like it's doing pretty darn well. And considering that spring break just happened, they cleaned up really nicely. They sure did, but I can tell you all the hotels and everything that are behind this beach are all being Ooh. worked on right now. I'm very pleased with our camping selection. Me too. I, I think like it's the, the best spot on the beach. Aside from the fact that we forgot to buy plenty of water, I think we're going to survive. I think we're going to be just fine. We do have water. So don't worry. We have water. It's just not a lot. Yeah, there's a whole bunch right there. I dare you. Dare you to drink it. Go crazy. No, I'm already crazy. That is the truth. Found something very interesting. It's like a giant green melon and it's all whole. It's one piece. Looks perfectly good. All right, we're going to roll this down the hill. The water's a little cold and it's windy out here, so we would swim if it was going to be like 90 degrees tonight, but I think it's going to be closer to 48. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, probably not gonna swim today. No, probably not today. hanging out here in this little shady spot for now letting the Sun get into a better position I'm considering putting the drone up in the air it's a really windy day though probably a good idea to fly it a little now and then <sighs> that may or may not have been a small mistake may have injured my leg right when I jumped off the dune the second time uh, my leg kind of caught right there in the dirt and it jolted me a little bit so ibuprofen tylenol maybe a few yoga moves i'll be good as new <laughs> well so much for the ceremonial opening of the mysterious melon it was definitely a watermelon though ew beach melon tossing all proceeds go to the local bird life. I have a question for all of you. <laughs> Are we the only ones out there? Certainly we're not. Are we the only ones out there that when you're out camping and you're at like a like your prime camp spot or wherever it is you are and a car goes slowly driving by in the <laughs> evening. <laughs> Are we the only ones that sit there and mutter to ourselves, keep it moving, keep, keep it, it moving. Keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to hear your comments because I feel like we can't possibly be the only ones that do that. <laughs> I think we need to get the drone up in the sky so we can give you an aerial view of what Port Aransas looks like.
Well, there's an aerial view of Port Aransas. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was flying that drone, it's been a while since I put it up in the sky, and my phone blacked out for a minute, so I had to hit that home button. Melody was there to catch it for us. All is good. We got an aerial view. Needed to get that thing flying again. We're back in the truck all of a sudden. Yeah, started to get a little cold on us last night. Mentally, physically exhausted from the last couple days of adventure. Serious adventure. Yeah, it's gonna make for one heck of an episode. We've been in the car all night, all morning. Some driving, some sleeping. <laughs> We're almost to San Antonio right now. Yeah, and then we get to go home, get showered, get ready for work. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this trip with us. I hope we enjoyed this trip. I feel like I enjoyed it. I had an awesome time once we got, you know, the new alternator and everything. It's also time to go wipe all the sand off of our gear. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.